morning guys so today I've got out a bit earlier it's just going quarter to seven and I think I'm the third car to leave camp uh, gates open at half past six so um, it's quite early the Sun's not peaked over the horizon yet but uh, the fires that have been burning have also caused quite a bit of haze so can't really see where the sun is meant to be. Just gonna open the gate now. Morning, morning. morning. Okay, so someone's coming out after me so I can drive through without needing to close the gate. Um, so hopefully the early start this morning will get us a little bit better sightings than we had yesterday. Yesterday was very quiet in the park, hoping for some big cats today. Coming in um, towards camp just after six, uh, we did get some nice jackal sighting. Uh, a pair on the side of the road. Uh, so jackals are monogamous and they, they breathe for life so that pair would probably be together the rest of their lives um, I think if the male dies the female will take a younger suitor but if uh, the female dies I'm not too sure if the male then gets another female or not okay cool so Let's see how it goes. Uh, plan today is to go all the way to the Kamkwa picnic spot, grab breakfast or brunch there, and then make our way back. I think they just stopped today, isn't a sighting there. And then make our way back. Today I'm in the Kalahari, uh, Kalahari uh, tented camps, so. of a different experience hopefully and uh, hopefully a good one so uh one more thing I just wanted to add, I've got a bit of a frozen shoulder, I'm not too sure I didn't sleep too well on the bed last night. So the left shoulder is frozen and any sighting on the left hand side is probably going to be a pass for me because uh, yeah, I can't turn my head properly. Maybe it'll warm up during the day but yeah, it's one of the hazards of sleeping in different beds every other night.
Okay guys, so it's gone about 10 o'clock now and I've just got to the Kamkwa picnic spot but the wind has gotten up. Normally by September the wind isn't this bad. They, normally the winds are only in August according to the reviews I've read but obviously you know weather being weather it can't change. So I've decided to just quickly have a coffee here at the picnic spot and um, there's no one else here but it's too windy to have a coffee outside the car. I boiled some water this morning before leaving camp which was a good thing because I don't have to use the burner and then I've got my new brew spoon which I'll do a review of pretty soon but basically makes uh, having coffee much easier oh the milk is in the boot okay black coffee it shall be so it's been quite a quiet morning again um, not too sure what's going on but uh, big animals are scarce and big cats pretty much zero um, I passed some other uh, travelers who said they had a leopard sighting at the camp this morning the Yerukarais camp which is not too far from where we are at the moment the picnic spot so I will keep an eye out but I think with this weather being what it is the leopard is probably sleeping somewhere in a tree and will be hard to spot I've decided to um, make my way to the uh, museum which is a few k's down the road um, and then I'll probably have lunch there because there's another picnic spot at that museum it's got a bit of a viewpoint hopefully the wind isn't too bad there and um, then I'll start making my way back towards the Kalahari tented camps not too sure whether I should uh, go out on a night drive this evening with the wind being the way it is it may be not the most pleasant thing to do so maybe I'll just uh, check in and then drive out again like I did yesterday go sit at one of the water holes and see you know what come pass, uh, what comes past um, so yeah, a quick coffee break and then we off again. Okay guys, so we are at the, I think it's Octorlani, I can't pronounce the name, 
Aotearoa picnic spot and museum. So it's got bathrooms. There's the museum, which is, I think, an old farmhouse. It's too bright, too dark. Oh, there you go. So this is a little museum. Let's see if I can't get with some So this was the old farmhouse I think small kitchen table, the fireplace, cupboards, this would have been the entrance and then this would have been a bedroom with the small bed and a chair. So the farm itself was built by the human family or human human um, who farmed sheep and goats and they also did hunting were for hemsbok ostrich and lions if they wanted to go to uppington from here which is about 350 odd kilometers away their mode of transport was ox wagon and uh, it would take 14 days to get from here to Uppington and then 14 days back so it was a month journey if they wanted to get supplies from Uppington or anything from Uppington This here is an outside cooking area, so when they had rice and stuff. Yeah, that's the Akhtarloni picnic area. And now, I'm going to have lunch. Here's a water well. Dug by hand. See how far in it goes. They just one against B activity. Oh, it's covered. Wow, but it goes quite far down, eh? Okay guys, so now we're going to make our way back to camp. It's just gone half past 11, so we'll be back maybe just before 2, so it will be time to check in. I think we've got about 80 k's to go towards the Matamata so just under that for Kalahari tented camps it's the middle of the day now and the wind is quite bad so I doubt we'll get any sightings but obviously we'll keep the eyes open
Okay, so tonight we are at the Kalahari tented camps. Just show you the accommodation quickly. So, firstly, this camp is not fenced, so it's open to the wildlife. So that's the Aug River down there. So wildlife can get up here. So that's cool and scary at the same time. Then a separate unit for the kitchen, fridge, stove, sink. And the living quarters, which is two beds, nice view out onto the river if you wish to do that at night. Then shower, bathroom, toilet, and that's it. Small light. So yeah, um, this was the most expensive of the accommodation I've used so far in the park. I think it was about one nine. I'll double check that. Um, but yeah, it's, this is almost the true wilderness experience with the camp not being fenced. Oh, there seems to be a water hole down there. I wonder if it's lit at night. That would be cool. So I'm going to settle in. I'm um, just going to go for a afternoon drive.